Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Astro Motivation with Jupiter James where I awaken the astrologer within you and aim to give you a little inspiration and motivation per your unique placements within your birth chart. You know, I really do feel that before time of technology, we were a culture and a society that were better able to look up at the stars and understand exactly what the universe wanted from us. And it is with that language that we were able to decipher our birth ch charts. That way we saw where our dreams were and how to get them. And so if that sounds good to you, let's get into it. Today, we're gonna get into a highly requested topic. One of my favorite topics, and that is the seventh house lord through the houses. Now the seventh house lord is going to, for me as an astrologer, show me where this person may find their their marriage partner, their life partner, their soulmate, you know, and we're all looking for those things. I don't know if you are like me, but I am always on YouTube, I'm on the internet, I'm on this, I'm on that, I'm researching and researching and researching of what are the circumstances that I will find my soulmate. And I'm sure by you being here on this video, you can relate with that, okay? And so um, I'm just gonna be another person here on YouTube giving you a little bit more detail of how you may find your your partner and the circumstances that may occur within that okay and how this video is gonna work is firstly I'm going to show you the house lords which are here these are the house lords right here and depending on the house lord so say you have Aries as your seventh house lord right Aries as your seventh house lord is gonna mean that Mars is the ruler of that seventh house, all right? So from there you would find, where is Mars in my birth chart? Once you find Mars in the birth chart, I want you to remember where Mars is in your birth chart. So say you have a seventh house lord and Aries rules your, your seventh house. You say, okay, what rules Aries? Mars. You find it in your birth chart and you say, okay, Mars is in the 11th house. I want you to skip in this video and find where the 11th house timestamp is and from there you will um, I will tell you what the circumstances are of your partner now if you want to be a little bit more in depth what I like to do as well is if Mars is my um, seventh house ruler right if Aries is there I'd also check out the first house timestamp as well because the first house is ruled by Aries okay that way you get an even more in-depth circumstance of how you'll find your marriage partner because remember the the cosmos is very big and there are different indicators within the birth chart that will bounce and play off of each other because remember if mars is your seventh house ruler and you find where mars is okay you would also say okay what is the ruler of the seventh house let me get more detail on how the circumstances of my partner will be i will also show you guys in a maybe in a different video you know because this video will be where you will find your partner and the circumstances and you know and kind of who they may be but not so much it'll just be more of like the circumstances the atmosphere this is what that video is but if you want me to do a um, seventh house lord signs video like your the sign that your uh, seventh house is under and that will show you more of the outward appearance of your spouse. You know, when you get a beautiful spouse, a skinny spouse, a strong spouse, you know, um, that will tell me the sign. Maybe I'll do a different video of that. If you guys want me to do a different video um, listing the different signs that are on your seventh house and their appearance and what they can look like, that way when you're out and about, you can go, okay, that looks like my seventh house um, sign that I should go for that person. You know, I can do that video for you guys, but for this specific video, this video is going to be just the circumstances because the seventh house lord shows you the circumstances of the meeting and lastly if you have a sign on your seventh house that has two rulers like so say scorpio and you have pluto and you have mars the ruler of your scorpio i want you to find where pluto is in your chart and i want you to find where mars is in your chart and i want you to combine those analyses because those things are going to play out being that those two planets are the ruler of Scorpio that would be in your seventh house. If you have Aquarius as your um, as your seventh house sign, I want you to look up Uranus, where Uranus is in your chart, and I want you to look up where um, Saturn is in your chart, and that's gonna and you can combine those analyses. And lastly, if you are looking at a Placidus chart, okay, sometimes within a Placidus chart, 
which I would prefer that you be looking at. With the Placidus chart, you're gonna have um, sometimes a little bit more of a sign with a little bit of a cuspy sign kind of peeking in that seventh house. That's gonna matter, okay? And so if you have Taurus and Aries kind of fighting for that spot in the seventh house, I want you to look up Venus and I want you to look up Mars or I want you to look up that ruler of the two signs that are fighting for that seven house because that is also gonna help you pinpoint exactly what could be happening or the circumstances that are gonna fall under how to meet your spouse, okay? Or where you will meet your spouse, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video, all right? So if your seven house Lord is in the first house, this is gonna mean that this person is going to be a lot like you. Maybe they have the same personality as you, the same interests as you, maybe they even kind of look like you. Have you ever seen those couples that kind of look like brother and sister or, you know, brother and brother or sister and sister or whatever? Like that is what is going to be the characteristics. And now with the first house being ruled by Aries, no matter what your first house may be ruled by, with it being ruled by Aries, this is going to mean that this person is going to approach you. Okay. This person is going to come to you or it's going to happen where you guys are maybe like at a sports game all right like you don't know this person and maybe you went to the concession stand right and you got a hot dog and a soda and you're focusing on your hot dog and your soda and you turn around and you bump into the person right and it's a crash it's like a boom and, and then you're like wait you bumped into me i know you saw me and then all of a sudden you're like wait such and such is kind of cute like i'm sorry can i get your number it'll be like that maybe it'll start out as something very um fiery and like heated and like an argument maybe or a battle or a crash maybe you get into a crash with the person that is your marriage partner you know and things happen like that but remember with the first house it's going to give you very fiery and direct energy and competitive energy i want you to look up what aries means and what aries themes rule and this for me is going to show me I'm going to list out some some themes and some words for you so that you can put the puzzles together where they may and what they may mean for you. But when I think of first house energy, it being ruled by Aries, and if your seventh house Lord is in the first house, um, it's going to mean it's going to be fiery, passionate. They're going to be a lot like you. I, I sense sports games. I sense competitiveness. I sense directness, okay? And this person approaching you or you bumping into this person by accident, like a crash or something like that, fire, all right? So that's seventh Lord in the first house. Now, seventh Lord in the second house. Seventh Lord in the second house is going to have very a Venusian cover around it, okay? Because the ruler of the second house, no matter what your sign may be on your house, the ruler of the second house is Venus, okay? And it is Taurus. So this is gonna give me energy of you may meet this person or you may want someone actually who is very stable. You're not gonna want a very topsy-turvy person or relationship or personality for your person. You're gonna want someone who is very comfortable and who likes the basic things in life. People who aren't like so, I don't know. I, you're gonna want a very down to earth person, all right? You're, you could meet this person at a bank. You can meet this person while handling your taxes. You can meet this person while um, doing something artistic, okay? With clothing, with makeup, with fashion. You could be in a store and you know, you're looking at makeup and the clerk or whoever looks at you and says, hey, do you need help? And that's the person you fall in love with. That It could be that. You could be doing your eyelashes in the mirror or something like that. Or, or you could be checking out clothes and you could be um, in a dressing room figuring out what to wear and you come out and the person could be in the next dressing room over or, you know, something like that. Something to do with clothing, fashion, Venusian topics. Remember, the second house is ruled by Venus and Taurus, so I want you to look up on your own what Venus and Taurus rules. What are the themes of Venus and Taurus? And I'm gonna list out some things right now what th that those themes that relate to Taurus can be. I get clothing, makeup, fashion, money, luxury, food, okay? Um, and comfort, music, all right? These are the circumstances in which you can meet your person. 
this person will also probably be interested in these things and give off those qualities of a Taurus person. Now, no matter what your sign is in the second house, you're gonna have to make a gumbo soup of that, okay? So say you have Gemini in the second house. This person is going to be a very talkative, comfortable person who likes fashion, who likes art, who likes food. You see what I mean? That And, and you may meet this person while at a chef class um, and you guys are, you guys maybe have to present or talk. You, you're gonna have to mix these elements together and use your intuition to see where you will meet. But with seventh Lord in the second house, this is gonna definitely be someone who has very Venusian, Taurus-like themes, and you're gonna meet them. On, you may see a bull around, you may see a bull around, okay? Um, something to do with like a bull or money, banking, okay? When you meet this person, if you look around, you'll see that there's a, a bull statue or some type of statue that has bulls. Maybe the person has a the, the raider shirt on and they have a bull on or a cow, okay? So that will be the theme because you will see these symbolisms throughout the meeting, all right? The, the matrix is really real is what I'm letting you know. The matrix is really real. When you meet this person, you will see the matrix play out and you will see that, oh, this person has a, a raider shirt on or maybe you are at a restaurant and they praise the cow for some reason. You know, like you could be at a barbecue shop and the ram or the bull is on the sign of the barbecue place that you guys are having your first date in, all right? So now with the seventh house lord in the third house, seventh house lord in the third house is going to give me the energy of Gemini, okay? Now, no matter what your sign on your third house may be, you are going to follow what the underlining theme of the third house is, which is Gemini, all right? And it's ruled by Mercury. So for me as an astrologer, what I already intuit with this is that you are going to meet someone in your local neighborhood. You could be at the park, all right, having a picnic. You could be at the Starbucks picking up your drink. You could be on your way to work and you could be very busy on your way to work, maybe juggling a million things and you go to your Starbucks or your local bodega for a sandwich and this person is trying to talk to you. This person is trying to get some information out of you. Hey, do you know how to get to the subway? Hey, excuse me, excuse me, do you know how to... And you're gonna be like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm busy, I gotta go, I gotta be at... You get what I'm saying? And they're gonna be like, wait, hold on. This person is really hot, can I have your number? You're gonna meet this person under those circumstances or you can meet this person through a one of your siblings this person could be very tight with their siblings. This person may be a twin. You can meet this person through their brother or sister, okay? You could very much meet this person through their sibling and their sibling is going to want you to be with this person. This person's like the person that you meet this person through, which is their sibling, they're gonna be the one that's like, I just love you guys together. I want you guys together so bad. Meet my brother, meet my sister. Like they're, they're, they're the one for you. Maybe, you're, maybe you work with um, your coworker who has a brother that doesn't work in the same facility as you guys and she introduces you to the brother. Yeah, uh, that you are, fr you know, like that. It could be things like that and this person will be have very gemini like qualities this person will be probably very hot and cold in their personality this person will probably be very talkative want to know a lot of information be very uh you know again they may have a twin to be honest or be very close with their brother or sister and you may meet this person in your local neighborhood in the places that you go to very often the grocery store the the park the starbucks the Anywhere that you are on your daily day, you can meet them in your neighborhood. Like, call, so listen, call up your brother, call up your sister, say, hey, do you got somebody for me that you could hook me up with? That could be a start you could look for where like someone may have something for you. But that is what the seventh house Lord and third house is gonna give the energy of. And now if you really wanna really get into detail, I would mix what your sign on your third house is and mix that with Gemini qualities because this will show you the potential sign and energy that this person will have, okay? So, yeah. Now, with seventh lord in the fourth house, seventh lord in the fourth house is gonna 
automatically gonna point me in the direction of this person is going to be ruled by the moon, okay? They're gonna have very moon-like energy and they're probably gonna be a homebody and wanna be very private, all right? You are probably gonna meet this person in the comfort of your home. Maybe you throw a house party and one of the guests, a friend of a friend, is the person that you fall in love with, okay? Or you go to a house party and you you get what I'm saying? Like you find the person at a house party or at their home. You could be a mailman, right? And you are giving out, you know, the mail and there's this one person in the neighborhood that you always give the mail to that is always waiting outside for you. And it's like, hey, mister, hey, hey, ma'am, like that. You know, you're gonna meet this person in the comfort of your own home and it's gonna kind of be shrouded in privacy a little bit. Like, it, cause the IC is very private. It's your private life. So something about it is gonna be very private. Like maybe it's a secret or maybe it's gonna be something very secretive. Like maybe you meet this person at someone else's home at a house party and um, you guys sneak away in a different room and do what you do like that. It's gonna be very much like that where Although it's, you meet at someone's home, is something about it that you're gonna have to keep it a little bit of a secret in the initial point. But with moon energy, no matter what your sign on your fourth house may be, even though that matters, I'm just saying, I want you to think of firstly, the, the first step and the first layer to this, which is regarding the, the, the ruler of the fourth house, of moon, okay? So say you have Aries on the fourth house, right? This person is probably going to approach you at that house party. Or say you have Aquarius in the fourth house, this person is probably gonna be the one in that house party that isn't talking to anyone. The one, You see what I mean? And this person is also, even though they're comfortable, they're gonna be a little bit aloof. So you have to mix those things together. But just to not confuse you so much, just go by the fourth house ruler. All right, the fourth house ruler is the moon and it rules the home. So you will meet this person at home. You will meet this person. Maybe they are a therapist and they are helping you through your emotions or maybe you meet this person. Maybe this is the local like um, bruja or person that is the medicine man. You know what the medicine man is, right? The person that gives herbs in the neighborhood and he's a doctor or she's a doctor and you go to their place for healing or maybe a massage therapist. Maybe you fall in love with your massage therapist and they are running their massage therapy in the comfort of their home. You see what I mean? Because moon energy is healing energy. It's And it's also private. It's away. It's tucked away and it's probably, you're gonna meet them under the circumstances of you trying to get healing or in the privacy of their own home or your own home, all right? So, moving on. Seventh house lord in the fifth house. Seventh house lord in the fifth house is going to make for someone who, this is a very fun uh, placement actually because this means that you're gonna meet this person while you're out having fun. While you are out with the girls or with the guys doing what you do, letting your hair down so to speak, is where you will find this person. You will probably find this person under Leo themes. Leo rules the fifth house, so you will meet this person under Leonic things, okay? I made that word up, Leonic. You are gonna meet this person probably at a concert, at a show, at a birthday party, where you are celebrating someone, okay? Anything that has to do with the sun, I want you to look up what Leo means on your own and look up things that Leo rules. It's anything where someone is celebrating something, showing something, and having fun, all right? So maybe you meet this person at a club and they're celebrating their birthday and they're the birthday boy or girl and you go up and you say, oh my God, happy birthday. Like, you know, I, I, I saw it was your birthday, everyone's singing to you like that. Like, and you're out with your guys or girls and they're like, go, go talk to that person. That's the birthday boy, like, like that. Or you could be at a club and the host of that club is having their birthday. They're having their birthday or they're having a concert. You could fall in love with a musician or you could fall in love with the person who's performing or you could just be falling in love with the person next to you that you don't know that is consuming the concert with you. You can meet someone at your favorite singer or dancer's performance, all right? So with that, that's a very fun placement because again, this is, for, for this placement, this is a more general placement because like you will find that 
everyone meets everyone when they're out kind of right so it's a little bit more general but just know that sorry about this uh, ambulance but just know that it's gonna be a little bit easier for you because it this house rules dating so I would just suggest going on a lot of dates go on a lot of dates and be out make sure you're out this is the placement where you cannot rely on chance so to speak you got to kind of actually be out there playing the field and out there um, actually actively seeking for love okay you got to be outward with it you got to be you know on on the scene you got to be on the scene this is very much sex in the city placement where it's like you are out there dating and discovering and having fun and through you doing that your lover will come or you will meet your lover okay and usually this will be in the club at a concert at a birthday party just out you got to go out so call up the girls and go out right now and you may meet your person okay you may also see sun symbol symbolism when you meet this person when you meet this person you will see the sun all right maybe you meet them on a very sunny day maybe you go somewhere where sun is in the name of the restaurant or you get maybe there they have a shirt with sun on it or soul on it or something like that okay the sun is a big thing so i want you to you may meet them in the summer you may meet them the sun is gonna have a big meaning like when you and your person look back on it you're gonna go oh my god like yeah maybe the sun was beaming so hot or it was the height of the summer or we and we were at this concert in the sun and everybody was sweating and i offered you some water you see what i mean the sun is gonna have a big uh factor in the story in which you tell people how you met all right the sun is going to be around the restaurant is going to have sun in the name um it's going to maybe be a very hot sunny day it's going to be in the height of the summer um and you're probably going to be at a concert or a club or a birthday party all right so that was seventh house lord in the fifth house now seventh house lord in the sixth house seventh house lord in the sixth house is going to make for someone who will meet their partner at work okay you will meet them while you are at the gym while you at, are at work while you are doing your normal day-to-day -day tasks okay and this is also going to show me that this person will have very virgo like energy they are going to be someone who wants to kind of serve you and help you and make your days better and more efficient and more um organized all right they're going to have that type of personality now no matter what your sign on your sixth house may be although it matters the first factor is going to be that they are going to be a person who wants to help you who wants to uh serve you and help organize your life in some way you may meet them at work under the circumstances of work and the service you give you will meet this person all right and now let's just say let's just play around and say that you've got let's say you've got gemini as your sixth house right you would say okay this person is going to be a very talkative gemini this person is going to be a very talkative gemini this person is going to be someone well i know that this person is going to be a very helpful gemini excuse me and they're going to be someone who wants to help they're going to have a very virgo like flair to their gemini okay or, or they're going to have Gemini and Virgo in their big three all right now while this is happening you may meet this person while you are busy you may meet this person while you're doing the thing that you do at your work whatever you do for work they are probably a customer of that they probably they're probably your co-worker they're gonna be someone that again wants to help you manage your work in some type of way you know this could be your assistant this could be um, a client of yours and they just see hey like you're so good at your job but if if i might add or if i might suggest you do it like this or you do it like that you know but yeah that's seventh house lord in the sixth house now seventh house lord in the seventh house seventh house lord in the seventh house is going to make for someone who is going to be very social whoever you meet this person is going to be very social maybe their job requires them to be out and mingling and networking and maybe you meet this person at a networking event maybe this person is a person of a person that you work with by proximity maybe you guys are kind of in the same industry and you go to a uh, conference and you know this person through proximity maybe you've heard of this person but you guys don't work in the same department you don't work in the same office or in the same 
state or country or division, but you've heard of this person, you know of this person, okay? Their reputation kind of speaks for them type of deal. And this is very much that energy where you're gonna have to be out socializing and it could be business or the person could work in the same field as you. I've seen this where a lot of the people that have the seventh house door and the seventh, that this person works in the same industry as them and they meet this person, even though they know this person, they know of them, but their official meeting makes something blossom. They're like, whoa, I've heard of you, but wait, I like you. Like, Or maybe they're like, I've heard of you. I heard you're really big up in the industry. I look up to you. And then all of a sudden they're like, well, let's go on a date. Let's. I want to pick your brain about things. And then you guys go out and you, you find that there's like this, you know, sexual connection of some sort. But very much so that's what it's going to be. This person, you're going to have to be out and about. You could be out socializing with your friends. You could be out networking. And you, it just so happens that you guys kind of work in the same field. Um, yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. So, and this person may have Libra in their big three, okay? They may be a very whatever they are as their sign. Like, say they are a Pisces. They're going to be a very Libra flavored Pisces. They're going to be a very social balanced Pisces. You see what I mean? They're, they're going to have seventh house libra energy about them and so look for in their big three if they have libra if they have you know it's gonna have a the the chart is gonna reveal itself through their big three or their house placements um and i don't want to i don't want to confuse you with this so i'll just leave it there okay now seventh house door in the eighth house seventh house door in the eighth house is gonna make for someone who you know for me this person is going to be very transformative in your life. This person is probably going to be shrouded in a little secrecy. Like maybe you can't tell people that you guys are together or maybe you, they, this person doesn't want to be public with a, with the relationship. But know that this person is going to probably come at a time where um, you are transforming in your life. You know, this is the only house within the, the birth chart that doesn't really indicate a place or a, or yeah, it doesn't indicate a place. It more so indicates a time, okay? And this time is based on you, all right? It's based on what you are doing in your life. So maybe you quit a job and you are about to go to a different job, right? Or and or maybe you, you, you got fired suddenly, right? And now your life is in a, a midst of transformation and you're about to move to a different state and then all of a sudden this person from the state you're living in it pops up in your life and you're just like wait like this is such the wrong place at the wrong time like what do you mean like you want to be mine like it's going to be very like that like you're going to meet someone in the midst of you transforming and this person is also probably going to help you with your taxes they're probably going to be a tax person or a tax man but more so i really do feel i don't even i don't like the tax analogy actually i mean it could be that but for me what this speaks to is like this person's going to be very mystical this person i would with this placement is usually reserved for people who are spiritual themselves so this person kind of could be almost like a guardian angel for you you know like this person you could be on the brink of homelessness right and this person comes and kind of whisks you away from that and transforms your life it could be very much that type of energy where this again this person helps you out in a transformative moment and milestone within your life where maybe you need help maybe you need assistance and it just so happens that this person wants to date you this person wants to save you from that hard time that you may go through you know um but it, they are they themselves are going to be very spiritual very mystical they're going to be very in touch with the universe they're going to have very scorpionic energy because the the eighth house is ruled by scorpio okay no matter what your sign on your eighth house may be we are going to go by the original ruler of the eighth house which is scorpio so in their big three they may have very uh heavy scorpionic placements they could have scorpio in their big three or they themselves just carry themselves with a lot of power and a lot of mystique okay they themselves are going to just be very that you know they've got power but they are 
ruminating about something you know this is a very magical placement if you have this. this these are like i don't know what gives me this energy but these are the this is the marriage partner of like the the edward cullens or like you know the christian grays or like the the harry potters i don't know why there's a lot of magic and mystery around the person that you date and this person will be very magical and mystical and they will tra and so yeah that is going to be seventh floor in the eighth house all right so seventh floor in the ninth house seventh floor in the ninth house is going to give me someone who may meet their person while they are traveling okay while you are in college while you are on some type of quest for knowledge and truth or in the pursuit of your higher self okay maybe you are in a chapter of your life where you want to do better for yourself and you're drinking your water and you're going to the gym or you are in pursuit of a new job or a new career or in something where you are trying to develop and cultivate a new sense of self that you know you should be or that you put off for a long time this is going to give me very um Sagittarian vibes okay because Sagittarius rules the ninth house and so with Sagittarius ruling the ninth house you are going to give it's going to give you that energy of you meeting this person under those circumstances so you could be traveling you could meet this person in front of a church you can meet this person um, they could also be of a different race than you okay a different culture different creed from different background all right they are not going to be from the land and the places that you are from so you could be it could be a circumstance like this. You could be on a plane on vacation and you could be going to uh, Jerusalem or Islam to find out or see what this holy land looks like, right? And while you are walking, this person could be in search of that. They could be a tourist looking for the same things or they could be sitting down at the mosque or the church or this monument that everyone is glorifying and looking at. You can meet this person in front of a church on a holy land. They could be of a different race, different culture or creed than you and you can meet this person while traveling. You could also meet this person in college and this person will have Sagittarius-like themes about them, whether they be from a different race or they themselves are very Sagittarius-like, but they're gonna have a very Sagittarius flair to their personality or their signs. Now, no matter what sign they are, they're gonna have a Sagittarius flair to who they are, okay? Meaning they could be very adventurous. They could be all about honesty and honor. They, they themselves could have a Sagittarius or ninth house placements. They could have a lot of ninth house placements in their chart or in their big three, they could have a Sagittarius moon, a Sagittarius rising, a Sagittarius, you know? So look out for that, all right? Because the, the birth chart is gonna realize itself some type of way. It's going to hit those points it needs to hit some kind of way. And you usually see that when you pull up their chart. But those are the things that you will, you will also probably meet this person through your father. Your father may suggest that you guys go on a trip and while he's out getting coffee, this he's talking to this guy and he's like, wait, you'll be perfect for my 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 child you will be perfect for them oh my god like hey come come with me like i want you to meet my here this, this is my child this is my you get what i'm saying so it could be very much under those circumstances all right so maybe call your dad see if he's got somebody for you or get your butt on a plane go travel go go do your thing you know learn be in pursuit of your higher self as well when you are doing what you know you need to do in order to get to your higher self and by what i mean by that is that while you are developing who you are while you are trying to expand and change your life for the better you'll meet this person okay so yeah that is um that is seventh house lord in the ninth all right now seventh house lord in the tenth seventh house lord in the tenth is going to give me the energy of someone who um, meets their person at work, all right? This is very much Beyonce and Jay-Z vibes, all right? This is gonna be someone who meets this person at the peak of their career, and when you meet this person, it only explodes further, all right? This person is gonna be um, probably someone who's well-respected in your career, you know? You're gonna have someone that is like, I want, I, sorry, I want this ambulance to, past because this is really good information okay but i do know that you're gonna have very capricornian flares to the person that you meet all right whether you guys meet at work 
and this person is gonna help you secure deals in some way, shape, or form. Maybe they have a really big reputation in the industry that you find yourself in and by you marrying this person or by you dating this person, you are able to secure more deals because that person is well respected in the career. You know, this person has a reputation and just by you dating this person, people go, people go okay, if they trust you, I trust you. You see what I mean? Like, it could be very much that type of energy and it could, this person will also be very Capricornian. No matter what their sign may be, they're gonna have a very Capricornian flair to their personality, meaning that if they are a Gemini, they're gonna be a very serious Gemini. They're gonna be someone who is all about their business. There's gonna be something about the union between you two that is gonna be taken very seriously. It's, this could be arranged marriage. This could be um, a, an arranged marriage by your father. This could be something that you know you need to do. Does that make sense? Like, you know how some people may marry because they know it will give them a tax break or they marry because they know that they will be a little bit more well-respected within society or within their career in order for them to ascend or climb the corporate ladder. This is what that energy will be. It's, it's like you are going to this, although this is power couple themes, very Kim Kanye, very Brad and Angelina energy, very um, Beyonce, Jay-Z energy, it's gonna be shrouded in seriousness and business it's going to be a business relationship first you know it, and that isn't saying that it won't be good because for you that is maybe what maybe what you want you may want someone who takes the union very seriously and that is and you're going to probably treat this union like work you're going to treat this marriage like work okay um and it's only going to help your money increase and your status increase and who you are seen in the world increase by you two getting together but i do know you're going to meet this person at work in the same industry that you guys work at or while you are working you meet this person okay so yeah that is seventh lord in the 10th house seventh lord in the 11th house seventh lord in the 11th house is going to be ruled by aquarius no matter what your sign on your 11th house may be we are taking the original ruler of that house, okay, which is Aquarius. And so you may meet this person through your friends. You may meet this person through the internet. You may be on Instagram and you're putting what you put out there for the world to see and someone messages you or DMs you on the internet and they're like, oh my God, hey, I love your photos. Just letting you know I'm in your city, I'm in your town, would love to connect. And you may also meet someone through your friends. Maybe your friends see someone on the internet and they're like, hey, I'm friends with this person and this person, you know, we have a mutual friend and I suggested that you guys meet up. So like, will you, are you down? Like you may meet your person through circumstances like that. You may also meet this person while you, when you achieve the dreams that you've always wanted to achieve in your life, okay? This placement shows me that you meet this person a little bit later in life, maybe past 30 or once you establish yourself and you attain the dreams that you've always wanted to attain in life, meaning that say you've always wanted to be an actress, right? And, or an actor, and those dreams didn't come true until later in life, right? Maybe you didn't become a successful actor until your 30s. You didn't become a successful actor until 38 or even before then. But more so it's gonna be you won't meet this person or this person won't come along until you achieve those dreams you've always wanted because this is the house of your long-term goals or your future goals and dreams, okay? And so you may find that you will not meet this person until you have the money that you say you always wanted, you have the life you've always wanted. I have a person, I know someone actually who has their seventh house lord in the 11th house, right? And this person, gorgeous, right? And they, it was only until they got promoted at work and they were able to wake up at the hour that they wanted to wake up at, they were living in the apartment they wanted to live in, the city that they've always wanted to live in, and they are doing the job that they've always said that they wanted to do, that that person came along. You see what I mean? It is only when you do and you meet the expectations of yourself and the dreams and the goals you said you've always wanted to achieve, it is when you achieve those things that you will meet your person, all right? You may meet these people through the networks and the organizations and the friends that you have and that you congregate with at that time in your life, all right? So that is, and you may meet them through the internet as well, okay? And this person may be a little bit aloof. They may have a lot of Aquarius energy 
they may have Aquarius in their big three. They may also have a lot of 11th house placements within their chart, um, but look out for that, all right? But yeah, that is seventh house lord in the 11th. Now, seventh house lord in the 12th house. Seventh house lord in the 12th house is gonna give me the energy of someone who you may meet this person in secret. You may meet this person. This person you may meet at their home. You may meet them in, um, you know, this this placement initially may scare you. It, it will because it'll automatically feel like you're at a loss. You're automatically gonna feel like, I don't know where my partner is. Like, where is this person? It's gonna give you that feeling and that's kind of intentional because for this, you're going to have to really have a lot of faith. This is a Pisces driven house, okay? Pisces rules the 12th house. And so the person you meet is going to be very spiritual. They're gonna be a little creative, but they're also gonna be a little hard to find. They're gonna kind of be like that diamond in the rough. They're gonna be that ideal person that you've always dreamt of in your dream. They're gonna be that person that you've always wanted to be with. But think about that. Think of how hard it is to find a mermaid. Think of how hard it is to find that love, that true, true love. And so for you, it's gonna require you to have faith. You're gonna have to pray. I, I really recommend getting on your knees and praying for the universe to send you your lover or that you're ready. But you may meet this person while you are creating, while you are, um, you know, again, this is a very magical placement. And so I feel like it's gonna be different for everyone. But what I do feel is that you just may meet this person while you are in a different land doing holy things you could be on a yoga retreat you could be on you could be on a retreat in india and you're trying to discover god or you're trying to learn yoga or you're you know uh singing or dancing or something like that and you meet this person because this is the house of faraway lands you could get your first job and your job relocates you you can meet your your person in a faraway land all right in the land that you find yourself ending up in all right and they themselves will have very Piscean like traits, meaning that either they have Pisces in their big three or who they are, no matter what their sign is, is going to be very Piscean. So you may see fish around the circumstances that you meet the person. Maybe you're on a date in a, in a different country and you find that you guys go to a seafood place. Maybe you go to a sushi place, you know, and there's fish around. Fish are going to be very significant in the tale that you tell people about when you guys get together when people say how do you meet fish is going to come up the land the the sea is going to come up the boat boats and like on sea you could be on a cruise you could be on a cruise doing yoga somewhere on a faraway land that is secluded out in the water where no one can find and you meet your person it could be something like that where it's like again something about this union and this meetup is going to have very spiritual qualities to it but it's also going to be shrouded in mystery and like hidden and seclusion okay you can meet this person at a hospital in a jail in a mental like a uh, facility you could meet this person at a rehab clinic you can meet this person um anywhere where people are put away to rehabilitate you could you can meet this person in rehab you can meet this person you can meet this person at a theater you know you can meet this person at a theater where you guys are training to do something for like people out put on a show or something like that where you guys are having to use your imagination but the rehearsals are hidden, it's secluded. You know, I, I don't know, you won't meet this person out. That's the thing, you guys won't be out at a restaurant or out where a lot of people congregate. It'll be hidden kind of because the 12th house is hidden energy, it's like removed. But before, I do know that before you meet this person is gonna feel like, oh my God, where, why can't I date anyone? Am I ever gonna date anyone? What is that about? Like. But that's what it is. Piscean energy requires you to have faith and you're gonna have to have immense faith and it's gonna require you to pray. And once you pray and you devote and you promise something to the universe and you say, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. And you, you pray and you just say, okay, universe, I am ready for my special person. Bring this person to me. That's when they come, you know? So I really want you to try that. Try to pray, try to let the universe know that you are ready to receive love and to put you in the positions and the places where you can find this love. But I do know this partner is going to be super ideal for you. They're gonna fit that dream image in your mind and they're gonna have very Piscean energy. 
it's gonna be a lot of fish around or the ocean and traveling far away. Seclusion is going to be the circumstances, okay? So water, fish, travel, um, rehab facilities, anything where you put people away to rehabilitate them, imagination and faith and God are going to have a very big, um, these are gonna be very big themes in which you meet your person and they themselves are going to have um, Piscean energy about them or they're gonna have very heavy 12th house placements within their birth chart, okay? So that was my video. I really do hope that you guys got something out of this video. I really, 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 this is one of my favorite topics for some reason because who doesn't want love? We all, all, all want love and um, I may, if again, if you guys want me to do a video regarding um, what your seventh house Lord will be and as far as their appearance. Will you get a beautiful spouse? Will you have a very unique quirky spouse? Will they be skinny? Will they be tall? Will they be short, dark, brown? But let me know and I can really hone in on what that seventh house Lord means for you depending on the sign that's in your seventh house, okay? I can do a video regarding the appearance because this is just the circumstances in which you will meet your partner, but I can do a video on their, just the seventh house Lord, what to look for if we are taking into account what their appearance may be, okay? And who they, who they are as well, just a little bit. What, what more their appearance and their personality is. This is more so of the, again the circumstances and the meetup of what you will experience this video but with the other video i'm describing it can be more so of their personality and their appearance all right but i enjoyed this video and i will see y'all in the next one all right y'all have a great day bye